Hey, what up guys, it's Caleb here. So just before I start the video, I do want to mention that if you guys have been following my channel for a while and you just like the content that I talk about, definitely don't forget to give you a thumbs up by the end of the video because it's going to be really helpful for the YouTube algorithm. And generally, I'm just trying to do better in YouTube right now, so that is going to be super helpful. Um, so yeah, um, back to today's video. And so last year I made a video about five types of designer and how much do they make. And, uh, and I mentioned in that video that uh, UI and UX designer tend to make the most within the graphic designer group. And that video has been doing pretty well. It's literally like the second most watched video on my YouTube channel. And I've got a lot of comments and feedback on that video. And people just generally ask me, you know, like how can I be a UI and UX designer if I'm doing websites or just generally graphic design right now? And what is the difference between UI and UX and just web design in general? And in this video, I would like to clear that and I'll let you share my experience on how I became a UI and UX designer changing from a web or just general graphic design um, career. And how can you actually get better in doing UI and UX? Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get started. Um, so the first thing is definitely what is UI and UX, right? So UI and UX um, is really like we're talking about user interface and user experience. And note that like user is a very, very important word because anything that you do in UI and UX right now, you're basically designing for the user. So you really like user, how user is going to use your product and how user is going to have an experience on your product and that is the whole UI and UX thing. So when you're designing a menu, when you're designing a website, let's say a portfolio website, you don't really have to keep the user in mind, right? You don't have, you really have to like think about how they're gonna use it. You have to think about how they're gonna consume your content, but there's a lot less interaction going on between the user or the or the reader uh, and your websites, right? But when you're designing a product, you're thinking about how people are gonna use it, like how people are gonna get A to B and then to C and then from like C to back to A, B, B. Like there's a lot of connection in the action going on between your product and the end user. So that's the main difference between UI and UX and just a graphic design in general. And that can get very complex. So think about users, right? User can be, you know, elderly, user can be middle aged people, can be, you know, kindergarten students, um, many other people, right? So many of them can have different type of user habits. So how can you design thing for this group of users, right? So the whole kind of uh, scope can get very, very complex. And that's why generally people are paying a bit more for UI and UX designer because generally it's a more complex project to deal with and you require a lot more expertise in doing this kind of stuff. So that is why it's usually getting paid more so let's talk about UI and I think UI really like has three different main group I would say. So the first group is a platform. So think about you know Classity My Startup is a platform and think about uh, Facebook is a platform, YouTube is a platform. So these are sort of the platform that people log in and do a lot of things with it. For YouTube, right? People log in, you can view the video on the back end. People can go on, see the analytics, can go on, upload a video and can promote it. So there's a lot of different things going on on this platform, a lot of interaction going on, right? So platform is definitely a big thing. And second thing about it is uh, dashboard. So I do a lot of dashboard as well, right? YouTube actually is a dashboard as well. If you log into your to your portal then you can see your revenue coming in you can see like how many traction going on between each video or just buy any kind of like web products right they most likely have a dashboard so like there's a lot of interaction going on between how the information is displayed how people are viewing it how people are accessing a certain type of uh, content so a lot of interaction going on between the users and your products on a dashboard. And then lastly, it's definitely a mobile app, right? Everybody kind of use a mobile phone right now. When using an app, those are UI elements as well. You know, like you're using the products, the mobile app products. How can you use Instagram, right? How can you view the post? How can you push a post? How can you subscribe to other people like a post? And all this kind of stuff, right, is interaction. So a lot of interaction going on between your mobile app and yourself right so that is really what UI is about and now talk about how can you get better in UI and I think I have a lot of video really talking about like what is a better way to learn UI and how can you design UI better and I have like I think in general some some of the whole thing is really about the detail to attention right how are you going to use your 
uh, typography, margin spaces, your padding spaces, what is your grid system, and all this kind of thing, right? I talked a lot about this kind of stuff in my other videos, and if you are interested, I'm going to link all of those videos that I talk about UI down below in the video in the description. So definitely check those videos out if you want to get better in UI. I think it's going to be really, really helpful. So let's talk about UX now. And for UX, um, I think like all the stuff that I talk about is really just UI and UX too, right? You can't really have UI without UX. And UX, as I said, is the experience part. So how people are going to link between your products when you are viewing a video right now, how can people subscribe to your channel easier? How can people like the video? How can you, you know, Put your video to watch later so all of these kind of interaction is the experience part and how can you link from one video to another video what type of video are you gonna are you gonna promote better uh, are you gonna be like watch next or whatever kind of thing like that right this is all experience and how can you be a better ux designer and one thing that i have to say is there is no the best ux person there's only the best person that listens the most to other people because if my experience, right, is not definitely not your experience. So I think a good UX designer job is definitely to listen to other people's um, experience and design something for the end user. So when I'm working with a client, right, usually the team would be me as the UX designer that are doing the wireframe and all that kind of stuff. But then like the whole team can all be UX person right they can all give share the experience on UX because everybody using the product they can give some kind of experience on their own right so your job as a UX designer is to really listen to other people's experience and decide something for that person so there's not the best UX person but there's the, the person that listen the most and have the most kind of compassion towards other user experience and you basically sum up all the people experience and then create a better product for those people right so this is the job of a UX designer and I would say you know really just think about like how you're using your daily daily app right now whenever you open an app you just think about like hey what I like about this app what I don't like about it um, is the interaction flow better like can I access this information easier so really like the little thing can really help you to think from a deeper level so every day you just think about like what can you do better in this kind of app just be more observant to the things around you I think that's really helpful uh, but really like there's not the best even if you understand this product next product to the next group of people can be totally different so you really have to listen to what people are telling you so that is really really important as a UX designer and that's pretty much it and I hope that this video kind of clear up the whole thing and really help you think from a deeper level and if you want to become a UI and UX designer which I think is super fun then you should definitely check out the links down below and and those videos will really help you out in your UI and UX journey and like I said if you like the video definitely give it a thumbs up I'll uh, leave your comment down below as well and if you want uh, subscribe to uh, my channel too and follow me on social Insta uh, Instagram and other social media accounts and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers.